you're probably all somewhat familiar with this OBD2 port. You can plug in a scan tool and it works on anything that is newer than 1996 or 1996 and newer. But when you have an older car, there's a different way to check codes. We got about a 93 Buick Century here. GM vehicles that are OBD1 have this port down here that looks a lot like the OBD2 one, but it's a lot easier to check the code. All you have to do is jumper these top two terminals together. You can use a paper clip, a piece of wire, or something like that. They also make a tool you can plug in or a special dumper, jumper, but just grab yourself a paper clip and save a few dollars. I had a scrap piece of wire laying around the shop, so this is what I'm gonna use. Something like that. It does not have to be pretty. And you jump in the car here and you Put your key in the ignition, turn it to run, but don't start it. Watch your check engine light. It'll blink, that's the first number, and then blink again, that's the second number. 12 means you're in diagnostic code. GM will blink the code three times. It'll blink 12 three times, then the first code, then the second code. So we've got a two, and a four. And again, we'll see that two more times here. A two, and a four, then it goes back to 12, which means we only have one code, our code is 24. Now we just have to look at the manual, Google it, or ask a friend who knows GMs to figure out what code 24 is. I looked it up, it said it's a vehicle speed sensor circuit open, which makes a lot of sense because our speedometer in this thing isn't working. So I wonder if we find out how to fix the speedometer, if that'll just clear the engine code and this thing will be pretty much brand new with only 114,000 miles. 